Hey guys, and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how you could renew a bond uh, with only about 10 minutes of gameplay every day. Uh, you can do this at an extremely low level, and honestly you don't need a whole lot of money to start doing this. Uh, you just need a little bit of pre-planning and a couple very low requirements. So what we're going to be doing today is selling amulets to uh, Davon's Amulet Store. Um, this is a pay-to-play store in Karamja. Now the special thing about this store is that with the Karamja Gloves 1, you actually get a much better sell rate back to the shop. So you can sell amulets of power, amulets of strength, amulets of defense, and amulets of magic. You can sell holy symbols, but those are rarely going to actually work out. Uh, so what I've ended up buying is amulets of power, amulets of strength, and amulets of magic. Uh, now the limits on these are 125 per 4 hours, so we definitely do have to do a bit of pre-planning. Um, but to actually do enough to afford a bond, you only really need somewhere between 300 and 500 total amulets a day, which is definitely really easy to buy. Now like I said, you do need the Karamja Diary done, but it's literally the easiest diary in the game to do. There's no quest requirements and just very minimal skill requirements and just some basic items. So getting here is rather simple. I just teleport to Ardune and take the charter ship there. So I bought all these amulets overnight, so it really didn't take that long. And uh, the amount you want to sell it per world can vary quite a bit. The main drawback to this method is if there's a couple people doing it, it uh, is not nearly as effective because every time you sell an amulet to a store, the amount of money you're getting back is greatly reduced. However, we have quite a bit of leeway here and you can actually probably sell up to 20 or 25 amulets uh, before you start losing money. However, you're going to be losing a bit of the effectiveness of the method, so I would recommend only selling around 10. I've tried this a few times and I'm not the only person doing this usually, but uh, it can support a couple people and if you do it kind of off peak hours, you're more likely to actually have empty stores. So you can see that one had five of each of the power and the strength amulet. You could sell five of each to that world, but let's go find one and see if it's empty just to see what the base prices are going to look like. Okay, so this shop is empty. So we value the strength amulet 2025 and I think we bought that for about 1300 so a 700 GP margin for each one, that's pretty amazing. So we sold about five of these, so it goes down relatively quickly, but I think you could sell 10 and still turn a decent profit. You probably sell upwards of 15 or 20, but it's not gonna be worth it. Next up, let's try the Amulet of Power, which uh, with nothing the shop sells for actually 3,500, that's 1,200 over what I bought it for, I think. Or actually even more than that. So after we sell five, we can sell another five and still have a profitable margin. So you could probably sell 20 of the Amulets of Power. However, I would recommend just doing 10 per world, that's gonna be more effective. The Amulet of Magic, again, has a pretty good margin, but I think we're just going to do 10 per world. Okay, we hopped over to the other world, completely empty, and we'll sell 10 of each. So one thing I would consider doing is if you have an uneven amount of amulets, try to divide it up so that each world you'll sell a ratio that's going to make it so that when you get to the last world, all of them are sold in that last world. So like, say you have twice the amount of power amulets, you should be selling twice the amount per world, as long as it's profitable. The main time drawback is that you have to hop between all the worlds, actually clicking and selling 5 as opposed to 10 really won't uh, take up much more time. Alright guys, so we're pretty much done, uh, we're just going to sell the last few amulets to the store. Uh, we have 24 amulets of strength left and 3 amulets of power. The one thing I noticed is nobody is doing amulets of defense. Now on the Grand Exchange they're actually selling for 500 right now, which is actually a good margin. And they do sell reasonably quickly. Nobody buys these things because I don't think anybody wants them. Uh, but some people use them to train for crafting. So you can actually take advantage of that. On top of that, the Amulets of Magic, almost nobody was selling them in the world. So that would be a benefit to buy all four if you could. However, the best margins are on the Amulet of Power and the Amulet of Strength. Uh, so we'll just dump the rest of these in this world here. And it looks like our total in about 10 or 15 minutes is going to be about 1474k. So 1474k is actually really good. We're just going to have to go calculate... Uh, how much money we spent on these amulets to begin with here. So we went and grabbed our monster calculator, so we're going to subtract 1474k uh, from the amount that we bought the amulets for, which is about uh, 1 mil, just a bit more. So we made 436k, and I timed it at about 13 minutes. Now we're going to take an average of about 20 items you can sell per world. And the amount of world hopping depends a little bit, but I kind of averaged it out at about 3 hops per minute, and you won't end up disconnecting too much. And it gives a nice round number of 3,600 items you can sell per hour, which is literally one a second. So I was able to accumulate 700 items overnight. Uh, so if we go divide that, we're looking at about 11.6 minutes on average, but I had timed it about 12 minutes, so it's pretty much the same. It's not just to calculate how much money we're making per hour, so we made 436k in uh, 12 minutes. So that's about 2.1 mil per hour, which is absolutely insane for a low-level money-making method. Uh, there's no requirements, pretty much. 
Crimes of Easy Diaries is the easiest thing in the game. The main drawback here is it can be bottlenecked pretty easily by people doing this, but if you're only doing it for 10 minutes a day, uh, it's really not that bad, and the GE limit helps kind of regulate this. People can't do this infinitely, they still have to abide by the 125 GE limit on all the amulets, so you can really only do about a thousand of these maybe a day. But really to sustain a bond, you only need a third of that. I made 400k in about 12 minutes, so to be a safe bet, if you do 10 minutes of this a day, you should be more than set to earn a bond. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video, maybe you learned something. If you did, don't forget to toss the video a like, and uh, I will see you in the next one.